hailing really bad just three miles away from here. So we picked up in the middle of the round and we're bucketing. So we started planting beans yesterday with the planter and today we're gonna try it with the drill. So right now we're setting our down pressure, then we're gonna set our depth, and then we're gonna try to get our rate correct. We got all of our gauge wheel set. We got all of our uh, down pressure set. So we pushed down all the openers and it freed up our drive wheel. So now we're gonna put some seed in the box and we're gonna put a bag right here. We're gonna spin the wheel and then we're gonna weigh that seed, we'll see what our seeding rate is. And then we'll make adjustments with our sprocket box and our wobble slots as needed. So at level, we're getting about 45 pounds an acre right now. And we're gonna shoot for about 60. And so that's, that's quite a big gap. So we're gonna use the sprocket box here. I'm gonna go up. Right now we're on the sprocket number 20. We're gonna go to 22 and see how that works. Well, we got it set now. We're gonna do about 150,000 seeds an acre. And so I'm just gonna fold it up. We gotta run to town because this tractor needs a fuel filter and we're gonna get some donuts for this so it stays where we set it and isn't changing throughout the field. Now I'm just headed to the field. My dad's grabbing the planter and we're both gonna be in this uh, 160 acre field. Plans are I'll do 80 of it, maybe a little less, and he'll do 80 or maybe a little bit more. But we're gonna have two outfits running in the same field. I'll get some drone video of that and it's probably gonna be pretty sweet. really full. What happened here? I guess it's time to mount up and see how this drill works. I can see the closing wheel was leaving it really firm. I also couldn't turn the closing wheel with my hand, which is one way to check your down pressure. And so uh, personally, I think we're, we're, uh, we got too much down pressure. Plus when I looked back, one of my six tires wasn't even touching the ground. So pretty clear that we need less down pressure. If you're wondering why I'm so sweaty, I was watching cops. I think we got it set up right. My dad started driving it and I was watching it and it looked like the seed was coming out really good. Now we're starting to get worried about that blue over there. It looks like it might rain. We just started this field basically.
it's really starting to look like it's gonna rain. We can see, we can see it's raining over there. <coughs> so that sucks because we're just finally getting going. Now I'm going 5.8 mile an hour right now. Um, I'm not sure how fast I should be going. I want to get a somewhat uniform uh, depth placement, but it looks like we really got to get going. So right here I have my little display. This is showing me shaft one and two, which is what is metering the seed out. That's shaft two and on the left side, if you're looking this way, is shaft one. And so it says they're both running. And then if they're not running, if something were to, maybe if the tire were to not be touching the ground or if something were to break, it would be saying stop. And then this is my amount of seed left. So it's my bin one and two. The sensor on either side and it's shaped like a U and it just shoots a beam of light. And it knows when it's blocked, so that means we have enough seed. But if it's not blocked and the beam of light's going from one side to the other, then it knows that we're out of seed. And so then it'll just tell me to, it'll just tell me it's low because that doesn't necessarily mean it's out, but it's just low. We have about nine acres done. And these boxes hold two bushel per foot of box. It's a 30 foot wide drill, and so I can only hold 60 acres worth of seed, worth of soybean anyway. And so I got, I could go for quite a while longer, but it's starting to, but this darkness is really rolling in. We're starting to get some drops on the tractor now. Um, so I'm afraid it won't be too long and we'll have to get out of here. It looks like it has a lot of water in it, so. I think once it rolls in, it's gonna start hitting us pretty good. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be loading up. We have about 240, about eight weight heifers, eight weight heifers that are going to the sale barn tomorrow. And so we'll be loading those. It's gonna take, I think, four semis. Hopefully that sale goes well. It sounds like there's gonna be about 6,000 head being sold at the sale barn we're going to tomorrow. So there should be quite a few buyers. Since there's gonna be so many people there, we're gonna take them the night before, tomorrow night. It's a lot less stress on the cattle, the less amount of time they have to be in the semi. And so we just wanna get that done quickly, so we're gonna take them a day ahead. My dad texted me, he said, making this next round's gonna be a mistake. It seems like right as I turned away from the gate, it started getting worse. I had to turn the windshield wipers on, so he was definitely right. We're gonna be dripping wet by the end of this round. My cousin called us. He said it's hailing really bad, just three miles away from here. So we picked up in the middle of the round, and we're bucketing. So stay tuned. We're breaking in the crust buster really well today. My dad already folded up, but I don't really wanna fold up yet because we still got a lot of seed in the back here and it'll put a lot of stress on our draw bar. And I don't really want to break that right now. It'd probably be okay, but I'm trying to play it safe a little bit. Home is only a mile and a half away, which is the good news. But I gotta take the donuts out on that hydraulic cylinder first before I can lower it enough to be able to fold up. But since we're nearing the gate, I'm gonna do that quick. So this is about 20 minutes after that last video. And the sun's already out. It's passing. And uh, well, obviously it's gonna be too wet to get into the fields. But I'll walk over to the rain gauge and see how much we got. It didn't end up hailing on us, but it was hailing about three miles west of that field. So yeah, there's 2100s in the grain gauge. Not bad, but that's quite a bit for about 20 minutes of rain. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. Making at least two videos a week, and I'll be doing that the rest of the summer. And then I'm still in college, so once school starts, I'll be making like one a week or one every two weeks. So keep watching. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.